get you in the screen over here. Okay. Are we ready without sound? Is my thing on? Can you hear me? Can y'all hear me in your headsets? I can't hear you in my headset. I can hear myself. Like you're coming through? In my own headset. But I can't hear you either. Oh. Hello. Oh, go. good. Welcome, everyone, to the 20, uh, 22, 2023. Is this 2023? Welcome back to the future. Welcome to the 2022 bonfire game between the Notre Dame Hunchbacks and the St. Joseph. Keep talking. Uh, we're, we're all right. Live. Live. Sorry about is that. This a little, thing on? A little is technical thing difficulties, on? <laughs> but uh, the Saint is it Saint Ben's or Saint Joseph? Well, Saint, it's, 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 we'll, 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 we'll call it Saint Ben. Ethan, 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 the Saint jo uh, Saint Ben's Ravens. They are the Ravens, aren't they? Yes. Yes. Okay. Saint Joseph Seminary He's at Saint Ben's start. Monastery. We're about to start the game. But we're going to pause for just a second for prayer. take a knee and ask the Lord to, to pour his blessing upon us as we begin our time together in this field. Almighty Father, we ask that you bless these men as they engage in this sport. Always make them aware that this is a sport and that but competition is good for the human spirit, especially as men. Protect them during this game and we ask that you lift them all up as they praise you on this beautiful day. And we ask this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go ahead, guys, and fight it out. Was 
that a Raven? Yeah. Let's go, Raven! All right. All right. Well, welcome back. Uh, we had a beautiful Prayers invocation. Over, Our prayer, and now I guess we're ready to start introducing uh, both, both, both squads. I guess we should introduce ourselves first, we'll though. We have one more pause, unfortunately, for the national anthem. Oh, uh, sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, for thank those you for of being you don't with have a distinction between America and heaven, that's been lost again. Uh, my name is Ailey Poydras, and I'm from Notre Dame Seminary, and I'm here with Josh Zeldin, also from Notre Dame Seminary. My name is Ethan Green from St. Joseph Seminary College, our side from Mobile. And we'll be your broadcasters, colored commentators, play by play, your overall announcers for the day. And uh, Ethan, uh, you are so organized today compared to us, and I believe you have a roster and some impact I players. Do, you want to uh, tell us a little bit about the yeah, team on your so, side? Uh, our team's looking pretty good. We uh, have a former D1 athlete actually playing QB today, Carter Wow, Domain, wow. Number 13. Um, really excited to see what he can do. Uh, number 15, Joey Bacini, our size is a mobile, also an athlete. Right. A couple tall guys. We got Grayson Foley. Uh, yeah, just overall solid squad. Our defense right. is looking good. Also led by a mobile guy, number 24, right. Andrew Thompson. So, were you all able? To, day. Were you able to get any warm-up games against some high school competition? We, uh, or, or we, just some inner squad. Yeah, we played a little inner squad. Right, right. Just been playing, getting Fantastic. ready, preparing the past few weeks, past few months. So right. It's a beautiful day. Yeah. And on the Notre Dame side, we have just some, some seminarians. A little bit That's older, <laughs> a little bit wiser. A little bit wiser. But as usual, the Ravens are, gonna, are coming in as heavy favorites, uh, yeah. younger, a little more athletic. If you just go by – Oh, I didn't even see you. Ah. Uh, right. Is this mic – is this live? This mic? No, I mean, but when we're on. Are you, are you here? Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Always a hot mic. There you get in it now and now. Game on. Apparently we missed the kickoff. That is the impact player that we were given. That's right. Ooh. Looks like we got a paper playbook they're bringing out there. That's not a bad idea. So the center's just holding that right in the back of the pants. Instead of the wristband, there's just a straight-up yeah. sheet. Hope he doesn't lose that. That's it looks like he's the guard, not the center. A little flea flicker. Okay. We got a two. Nice run. And that is a first down. Right. Fantastic. Now on our side, we'll let this play develop. So we got a first down. They passed the 20 yard marker. So we got a new set of downs here. Here comes the, the hike. He eluded the rush. He got about five, six yards yeah, on a nice little scramble. Run. Kind of a broken play. Yeah, it looks like on defense, starting on the defensive line, looks like we've got Ben Chavez. And Jeremy Maness. 
Uh, they were both in on that rush yeah, on that last play. Corner looks like we have Grant Collier. Uh, on the far side, Zach maybe. Zach Zeptel. We got, looks like we got uh, Albert Blunt at linebacker. Right. And then Edwin Morales on the far right corner. And Chris Fagan as the safety. And who's our, who's our deep safety? Our deep safety there is John Duga. Did you get him? Yeah. All well, right. I didn't, but now, now we do. Eludes the rush. Looks like he's going to scramble. he's going to run for it. <laughs> oh, he eluded the rush. He's gone. Oh, oh, oh. You can't stop him. And he's – oh. <laughs> All the way down to the – yeah, just Two flags are thrown. This line. might come back. Might be some flag guarding. A fantastic guarding. scramble. Yes. Went about 50 yards to the 13, but it might be coming back. Might be coming back. The refs may be waving the flag off. There's some discussion. Mm. Well, the Never Dubrock when the refs is, uh, discuss. Waffling. Let's see what we got. It looks like they're not going to bring it back. Making well, questions. is this still up in the air? Up. And we're going to get a call on the second. He's starting to walk all the way down to where that uh, the tackle was made, so I think they're going to wave that off. We'll see what happens. Oh, we got a hold on the defense. Looks like. Uh, so they're going to replay, the, replay the, the, down. the down offsetting penalties. Looks like it was an illegal formation on the offense and holding on the defense. So a little mercy granted for Notre Dame. Once again, hunchbacks. it's better to be lucky than good. Amen, amen. But you were right about that quarterback, Ethan. He is athletic. Uh, we haven't seen him really throw anything deep yet, but he, he's very elusive. And, uh, He's got right. a lot of what we used to say he, when I was a kid. A lot of get up and go. A lot of get up and go. I mean, he had and a couple of that time guys. he got up and went. Zach Zapatel, who is a, a decent athlete uh, in his own right. What do you suggest? Deep pass. Oh, just oh, out. Missed. Just over the outstretched arms. That was number 15, Joey Puccini. He laid it up for the receiver to come run underneath. Okay. I'm going to peel off and see if I can figure out what's going on with our technical difficulties, gentlemen. I'll be right back. We'll be here waiting for you. Deep shot there. No, you got to take your deep shots when you when you get them. Not working. Is my microphone working? Let's give it to him for now. Ethan, use my mic for now. Yours is apparently not coming through. So let's figure out. I can't figure it out. Once again, we got a rollout and another pass. Oh, but again, it just a little bit ahead of the receiver. He led him just a little bit too much. And on those rollouts to your right, you really don't want to throw back to your left. Yeah, that's a tough pass that's, to It's make. a tough throw, and it's why they tell you not to make those, because <laughs> they're tough. All right, it's a fourth down right here for St. Ben's. They're opting to go for it. Okay. So. They're not declaring a punt. They're declaring that they're going to go for it. From the pocket. He scrambles. In the pocket. They got him. They got him. They got him. He comes out Scrambling, of the pocket and throws, throws it. Throws. And it's caught. And oh. it's complete. He completes it to the, about the one yard line for the Ravens. Complete pass. A Eluded the rush and just scrambling will kill you. See, we got those yards back. Nothing but a setback. Carter Domain throws it about 50, 60 Ooh, yards. Yeah. Right in front of the goal line yeah, of Notre Dame. Already Ball Notre Dame is back on its heels so quickly. Three or four yard line, you'd yeah. say? The Raven crowd goes wild from <laughs> all around the field. Carter Domain scrambles, and Notre Dame gets the flag in the backfield. Like that goal line defense. Things get 
bottled up when you get too close to the goal line. There's not as much room to maneuver, a lot as much room to uh, to take action. Really, you got to yeah, we'll be see. quick see and decisive. Can do a stop right here. Second down for the Ravens here on the goal line. I just want to make sure. Did the uh, Notre Dame team bring their oxygen tanks? They look to be out of breath. Second down for St. Ben's. Again, we've got another scrambles. quarterback scramble. Looks like a oh, call scramble. Oh, and they get him in the backfield again. <laughs> again, you get congested down by the goal line, and scrambling and running becomes a little bit more difficult. It's going to be third down and about 10 for the Ravens on the goal line. Gentlemen, I'm back. All right. And we're glad to have you back. Excited. excited. <laughs> Lost technical there. We had some difficulties, technical difficulties, but we're figuring it out. Yep. Third down for St. Ben's. Big, big play here. Yeah. Although they're probably going to go forward on fourth, considering they did uh, last time. It worked out last fourth time. Fourth and 18 to go quite successfully. We've got a fast and fade ball. And Joey Pacini. Touchdown. Oh, touchdown. touchdown. <laughs> For the Ravens. Oh, back, back shoulder fade. It, it, it works in the pros. Beautiful. It works in college. It works in high school. If you, and it works at seminary. If you throw it right, you just yeah. can't defend it. Really, really beautiful ball. You put it right where only the receiver can get it. beautiful pass by Carter Domain to Joey Pacini into the end zone for the Ravens. Touchdown. And I believe that's the combination that you, you, were, you were saying, Ethan, that that's what we're, they, they were looking that, for. The yeah, that Joey Pacini, one of the top wide receivers for St. Ben's, so definitely one to look out for the rest of the game. Yeah, yeah that's going to be killer. We got it. Notre Dame's going to have to do something to stop that. <laughs> yeah, the Ravens crowd continues to be ex really excited. I, I, yeah. I, I think that play took the Notre Dame crowd out of it. It did. That pep band, too. Carter Domain scrambles, passes nice to Eddie. Oh, wait, no, Thomas Benson. Yeah. A great little pitch toss. Thomas Benson scores it. I wonder if, if – I don't know if the camera can catch the Notre Dame coach, Austin Thomas, but I wonder what he's, what he's got up his sleeve. I wonder what – I myself watch a lot of football with Austin, so I know he's, he's got something up his sleeve. Do y'all have anything? Y'all too cold? Y'all freezing up over there? And there's, there's some trash talking going on. St. Ben's gets yeah. the conversion. So that was a one-pointer, I believe. Yeah. So it looks like we're seven to zero. Seven to zero. Seven to zero. Seven zero. Same okay. Good little uh, first drive by the Ravens. It was a good drive, but for Notre Dame, all they have to do is you just got to think that the game is still zero zero. Yeah. It's it's you're only down seven. That's a you can come back. That's a completely attainable goal. Right. A smart goal, if you will. Nice. Specific, <laughs> measurable, all of that. It's kind of getting some PTSD when you say that, but <laughs> but yes, applicable. Notre Dame's rush looked good down there on the goal line. It, it did. just Carter Domain and the Ravens proved to be too much. Right. Of course, the big play was the fourth and about 16. Yeah, you can't and, really uh, get that one a long up bomb. Wanna, <laughs> that was all, all the quarterback on that one. Domain looked great. All right, Notre Dame's offense out on the field. Starting from okay. the usual got Fagan at quarterback. Looks like we got Albert Blunt out on the right. Morellis down here on the well, you know what? You guys need near side. Fagan running out. He throws. Out. Oh! By Zapatel. Zach Zapatel. He lifted up and got that one. A very talented seminarian from, from Dallas. About a 15-yarder, I would say. So they're uh, five yards ahead the first of the first down. First line. And that's how you answer a, 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 a quick score is you just come back and you just make a make a first down for yourself, right? Three kings incense. When in doubt, smoke them out. So the wide receivers do got a Zaplatel. A little high snap. Another pass. Another oh. rapid. So oh, Duga gets to the first, first down, down marker. Yeah. Is he all right? Duga down, down. He's but he gets up. He gets up. Okay. Duga has a reputation for being rather intense Another, uh, when he comes out and plays. Uh, <laughs> no, he's got, two, he's got two gloves on. When you got two gloves yeah. on, that means you are about business. There is a legendary story about him running so hard into another player a couple of years back where he broke his nose uh, and was bleeding quite profusely. I think now Father David Dawson had to take him to the emergency room, uh, but he's all, uh, all good now and he's playing hard as usual. Didn't get skittish from that injury. Yeah. With the first back out down. there, Chris Fagan takes the snap. 
A catch again to Grant Coulier. Chris Fagan making some throws to start the game. Yes, Number yes. seven for Notre Dame. So just, a, just about three, four yards on that one. Great tackle. And Chris Fagan is much improved from last year. It's, it's He's more comfortable. And that's all it takes is experience. It's the it only seems like way you, you learn. Like three for three to start yeah. the drive. The only way you learn football is to play more football. Amen. Fagan Flag on the play. Out. He throws. Oh, almost intercepted. Right. We'll see what the call is. It was blown dead. Let's see what the ref has to say. Father Dubrock. He is marching backwards against the offense. So mm, that's not We'll good. see what it is. About five yards. Let's see what the refs have to say on this one. Back it up. Hit him. Second down, five yard penalty. We don't know exactly what it was, but here we go again. Second down. Got for Notre Dame. And Morales lined up as wide receiver. High, High snap. snap. Chris Fagan. He's scrambling. He's he takes it. many runs QB and he's going to do. Yeah. Oh. So he got takes it for about that's the first ten to fifteen first. yards on the run. I think he's a little short, oh, okay. but I can't A little tell. short of the first. Yeah, a little short. Okay. A little short. About four or five yards short. So we got a big third down here. Although I suspect they will go for it on fourth. Yeah. I think this it. game has already been declared. It's every every down count. There's no there's not gonna be any punting today. Yeah, it's John Madden. Well, you don't you don't punt. Like you know. It was effective nonetheless. Third down. Comes the snap, another high oh, snap. Oh, high snap. He recovers and throws to Albert, Albert Blunt. Oh, oh good flag pull by number 24, Andrew Thompson. Let's see where they got him. No, they're wow. going to get the first. Oh, the got flag the spot. fell behind, yeah. but. You can't, you can't deny Deacon. No, no, no. He's an ordained minister of exactly. the Lord. How can you? I can exactly. Use. Albert the Blunt with that the first down. speed. It's so deceptive, he doesn't even know he has it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. First down for Notre Dame. Here we go. See if we can get the snap normal and not high this time. Let's see what happens. A little, little bit better on that. Chris Fagan takes it. He rolls out. Pass. Caught. John Dugas. Dugas out of bounds. Yeah. Playing hard as always. Notre Dame gets it down to about the five-yard line. Right. Oh, of course. So and I should mention down. that the Notre Dame uh, center is is new. He's he, Chabaria. Yeah. Right. He was he was not. We had a couple injuries. Yeah. The kid come in. The injury bug hit hard. Right prior to this game. So we're starting with brand new yeah, center. I think there's, they're still pre doing pretty good. Yep. Is, uh, I believe played some center in high school is the word. Okay. We'll have field. another story on that in a second. No Chris Fagan takes pass. his time, takes his time, rolls out, passes. Oh, a little oh, high. Intercepted, nearly sacked. What were you saying okay. about that? Pass ball is incomplete. Incomplete pass. Standard pass. The penny gallery is getting rowdy again. That's okay. You got to take your. You got to take your chance. So we got a third and five. You'd say. You think about third and five, Ethan. Yeah, about third and five on the goal line. Yeah. For Notre Dame. Glasses, Let's see so if I they can punch it, right, it in right. here. Fair enough. Fair enough. So this will obviously be two plays here. Let's see what they've got. Same wide receivers: Dugas, so Zaplatel, Blunt, Joe's and Calgier. Uh, as a fight song, the theme from That's So Raven. And Chris Fagan rolls out, rolls out, under pressure, under pressure, rolls out again. And he just goes for it and, oh, and runs he manages it. And to gets the touchdown. Notre Dame scores. Run. So let's see if they get the extra point to tie this ball game up. A well-orchestrated drive by, yes. the, by Notre Dame. Don't worry, according to the rules here. Fagan loves to roll right. Obviously, a right-handed quarterback yeah. loves to do that. Fagan with a nice little roll out into the end zone. Yes, <laughs> that'll nice work run. too. All right, so it looks like they're going for the two-pointer from yeah. the 10-yard line. The athletes on the corners, though, the, John, the what we didn't have last year, the John Dugas, the, the yeah. Andrew Morales, the Zach, I think that's allowing Chris a little bit more freedom yes. to just take off and run. Despite the injuries, we still do have a little bit of speed. All right, so we're setting up for the two-point conversion from the 10 yard line. Here. This is risky. I would take the one, but I'm not coach Thomas. Fair enough. Brought it downfield. Brought it right in. All right, here comes the ball. Under Snap pressure. Left now. It's going to be hard throw. Uh oh, and and overthrows Grant. Yeah. Unsuccessful two point, two point conversion. All right. So, 
St. Ben's leads it seven to six after that drive. And they will start it off on their own 10 yard line as usual here. As soon as we get a little water break here. Water break on the sideline. So any surprises you've seen so so far, Ethan, or are you just sort of? I was impressed in? with how Notre Dame recovered after the first drive. They right. get punched in the mouth, and then they go right back down the field and score. I mean, the quarterback, what, three or four straight completions right. to start the drive? Well, exactly a punch in the mouth. Pretty impressive. Maybe, <laughs> yeah, maybe right. not. Maybe not a punch maybe in the a, mouth. Maybe. Maybe a jab. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. Right. But still, but strike, quite impressive recovery right. after that beginning. Sure. Maybe a kind of slip into. Their hand, maybe, into their, <laughs> yeah. fit, into their fits. <laughs> <knuckle. laughs> but no, that, that, was, that was a fantastic yep. drive yeah. to start the game by the face. Ravens and an, an even better drive by go. Notre oh, Dame. Oh, a fumble oh, snap. Low fumble snap. snap. A little low. To redo that one. So Trey Holmes with a, with a, with a bowling ball roll instead yeah. of a, instead of a this snap. This is the snap right there. That will be second down no for the Ravens. No one's more disappointed than Trey, no doubt. Yeah. So we're not going to yeah. pile on. We're not. No. Ravens bring in uh, Nathan Trey's Lorette got a lot of at wide receiver. Right, right. And he lets you know it. <laughs> Carter Domain scrambles. Scramble. Pass. Throws oh, it down. Oh, he might get this one. Oh, oh. Overthrow. Just, Just about. Overthrows. Four yards Number seven, too far. Eddie Bergeron. I mean, we could blame the receiver. We could say he wasn't slow enough to run, run under it, but <laughs> but he, he had what about three yards yeah. uh, separation there. So the Ravens yeah. add uh, number 18, Nathan Lorette, in on the offense at wide receiver. And the refs are talking. I'm not sure what he's yeah. saying. Was there a penalty of some kind? I don't know. I Looks knew like this. The Notre Dame secondary has got to get it together. Yeah. You can't you can't let somebody break free well, that's and where, just run down the field like that. And that's that. where the injuries did occur. Lost two two starting cornerbacks to to injuries. So it makes sense that they need need some time to get get adjusted. So we're repeating second down with a penalty. Is that what happened here, guys? Looks like it might have been yeah. a five-yard penalty. Second down. Second down. Domain takes a snap, gets Got it to Bacini. down. Okay, that was about great, great little route. Yeah. Kind of a slant from the sideline. Yeah. A little slant I think for this, about I think three what, yards. If we've seen anything from, from the first two drives, this is going to be all big plays today. Yep. Well, it's third and one. St. So. Ben's going hurry up. Looking to the sideline for the play. Maybe an audible. Quick throw again. Another. Back to Pacini. Uh, Pacini's got it. And he have, but Pacini for the St. Ben's do first down. Gain of about to get the first 10. First. He gave him some good cushion, and he's taking advantage of that cushion every time he's got it. I would suspect Dugas is going to start coming in a little tighter. Yeah. We'll see what happens. You can just see that intensity written all over John's face. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nothing halfway. So, man, scrambling. Looks up. Goes deep again. This time. Beautiful oh, ball downfield. Nathan Lorette, number 18, scores the touchdown. Gorgeous pass. 13 really, really. to 18. That's 31. That was about 50 <laughs> yards in the air. Just a beautiful that, pass. That was a great pass. Great protection, great pass. It's hard to great defend catch. that when that quarterback is scrambling around. You, you know, Domingue, and, and then things just open up. That new yeah, secondary. Domingue made an incredible pass yeah. there. This officially became a non-defensive battle, yes. and it's just <laughs> this is now offense. This is Notre Dame. You're going to have to score yes. to win this game. And looks like they're yeah, watching some pretty good normal. quarterbacks out here for this one. They're going to play the normal safe route and do the one-pointer. No need to go for one two right here. when Notre Dame did not get their two-point conversion. Let's see if Notre Dame can at least stop this extra point. That will be a little win. Domain pitches it to Benson. A Back to Domain. Pitch and forward pass. And Is that actually possible sure. in flag football? There's a flag down on the play. That is allowed. It was only. Oh, he it gives like it, it was to only him. Backwards uh, laterals. So two laterals. Same and then a throw? Yeah. Is that what appears, happens? Here's they score. Let's see what the refs if they yeah. call it back. I believe that the score is 14-6. Refs are discussing it. They're gonna let it go. Yeah, I think I think uh, Deacon Albert was having a little discussion with yeah. them about uh, you can't just throw the ball around <laughs> all the time and then just throw it forward. Like it was deceptive. I'm not sure if that well, was a planned play or just an improvisation. Oh, uh, that that definitely looked like a 
little, little, improv. little improv action yeah. right there. That's one well where done. you where you would wish you had a, a, a replay. Uh, the score is now 14-6. 14-6. 14-6. So Notre Dame will – and it's 14-6 with St. Ben's up. If you're just joining us, welcome to the uh, live stream of the 2022 bonfire game between uh, the Notre Dame and St. Ben's. Here comes Fagan with a little scramble. With QB keeper. Looks like he might have gotten the 10 yards he needed for the first. It's another first down for Notre Dame. Notre Dame really moving the ball well to start this game. This is this is a really rejuvenated offense yeah, for, like for 2021. Said, like you said earlier, it might be an offensive game. Well, it looks like the Ravens are going to score every time they get yeah, the ball. Yeah, so it has so to be. It's not, it's not whether they want it to be. be. Offense <laughs> it has to side, be. That's for sure. <laughs> Fagan Fagan's got plenty snap. of time. He's getting a, a good rush now. Oh, oh Grant Coulier great. putting on the Jets. Look at that. And he made it. Another. Another first down for Rich Notre Dame. Yeah. Moving the ball down the field, yeah. Right. No, Baton Rouge's finest there, putting it. Yes. Putting on the Jets. My Dyson brother making me proud here. I'm going to buy that man some Chick-fil-A. <laughs> That's a good plan. And then send the receipt to the Dyson. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, a little number one meal night. with a sweet yeah. seat. <laughs> so another first down. Middle first of the field. The ball. Fagan. Oh, and he loses the rush and scrambles for what, quarterback draw. Yards. Doesn't look like it was an intentional one, but that rush got on him quick. Yeah, but he snuck in and out. And now the Notre Dame crowd comes alive. Yes. So we got a second down and about eight, ten yards here. We'll see what happens. Same wide receivers. It's Edwin Morales, Grant, Koye, Zach Zapatel, and John Duga. Here comes the snap. Roll out to the right. Pass. Throw to John, John Duga. Duga. Very well timed. This is the crispness yes. in this Notre Dame team. I mean, it's like it's we're on, we're talking honey crisp, almost Fuji like <laughs> crispness. Yes, yes. In, it's looking like a well oiled machine out there for that Notre too. Dame. Beautiful timing pass there, right on the sideline. Hard to defend. I see a little hands on the hips for Fagan. I hope he's not tired. Hope not. He's good. He's good. Got another first down here. Let's see what happens. Pass. Short pass to Zach Zapotel. Yeah. Did he catch that one? I didn't get it a good angle. Uh, yeah, he did. They're, he moving, did. they're moving the sticks. So another, or the little cones. Another five, six yards. Yeah. So we're second down and about ten to the goal line here. Fagan looking around, scanning. Albert Blunt confidently pointing to the sideline. Here comes the snap and the Roll rush. Roll out to the right. Really, oh, really well balls. defended there. They got there a little Please. quick from my taste, but I'm not the referee. Right. That's what you call a pass defended. And that's one of your impact players. That was that Pacini on there? Yeah, Pacini playing both sides yeah, of the really, ball. Really, really well done there. Well, Jimmy Thorpe coming out. That's today. right. He read it early and uh, batted it away. For those of you who, who don't know who Jim <laughs> Thorpe is, there's an award name for him. That's right. When you that's get an right. award name for you in football, it means you were good. Yes. So here comes third down. The snap. The rush is on as usual. He's looking. Fagan looking. throws. Oh, oh. And another pass. Whoa. Pass defended, but did John du Don Duga is out of bounds. Out of uh, bounds. But it's still a fantastic yes. catch. But we're finally starting to see some defense here. Yeah. Um, the Unfortunately, Ravens, it's on the the, ra the Raven side is stepping up. <laughs> two, two really good passes. It's not defended. on the side I'd like it to be on, but we are seeing some defense. And here is fourth down. And this could be – this is a really, really important down, especially with as good as the, the offense yeah. is for the you, Ravens you, right you now. You absolutely have to get points now. You can't, you can't let the Ravens just get the ball back without you scoring. You hate to call a uh, do or die this early on in the game. Fagan talks to his receiver. And that's intercepted. And it's an intercept. Thomas Benson. And he's going to go all the way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Thomas Benson. It's, yeah. We got a flag thrown on the field. We'll Thomas Benson happens. takes it all the way back. You got to have to play that kid's theme music. That's right. There's that's a flag right. on the play, though. A beautiful that play was by just a, gr a great break on the ball to, and taking it all the way. Back Gosh, for a score. There is a flag kind of in the center of the field. We're not sure if this is on the offense or defense. We'll find out shortly. Holding. It's holding against whom? Do y'all see? I think St. Ben's got a block on the 
think they oh, called so they declined. it. But, so it was against St. Ben's, uh, so the touchdown stands. Yeah, that's yeah. The second time you well, he's so walking. Ethan, is that one of your impact players? <laughs> that is, yeah. Thomas Benson, our, okay. our coach, graciously provided us with those uh, that impact, impact sheet. So, yeah. yeah. So they may. Oh, I can't tell what's going on here. Have they taken the touchdown off the board? I think they may spot it where the penalty was. Uh, I don't know so if that is okay, called no a score. touchdown or not. So let's see what happens. Let's see what the coach Thomas for Notre Dame looks a little worried. Well, with the way the offense is playing for the Ravens, you just can't give up a pick six. That's a big hole at this point in the game. So we're still trying to get clarification on what is going on here. Did the touchdown count? They've got the line of scrimmage marker basically on the 30-yard line of the Ravens, which is unusual because... Yeah, team owner, Father Josh Rodri, is on the sidelines. Yes. He does not look happy. No, no, he's nervous. Um, Ethan, you have any idea what's going on here? Do you think do, we, think do we have any word that the touchdown counted? I don't know if it counted. I think, judging by the spot, I think they might spot it, it back here where, where the penalty was. Yeah, so they got them. It seems like the ball will be on the left side if the Ravens have, because they they basically ran the ball past the center of the field from their defensive position. Yeah. But it definitely now yeah, that we'll they, because they're both huddling up, it definitely appears that it's it's going to be. St. Ben's ball, right? But they have to they have to flip side. Maybe I'm just confused with the, where the huddles are. They're going to flip sides in the line of scrimmage at the, uh, once the play starts, probably. Yeah, we'll we'll see what happens here okay. shortly. It's been a very very thrilling game so far. Yeah, yeah. I mean there's there's no there's no moment to go to go get go get you know take a yeah. break. Yeah, like, a lot a lot more action. I don't know if y'all remember last year, but a lot yeah. more action than last year. This is almost the same amount of scores yeah. as we had last year. Two at quick the end scores of the game. in the beginning of the <laughs> yeah. game and nothing to the, to yeah. towards the end of the game exactly. So it looks like, yeah, they're, so they're, they're not going to count the touchdown. He's got them on about the 35-yard so, yeah, line. So, yeah, St. Ben's will have it. Yeah, where the, where the block in the back of the holding occurred. All right, so no score, but so. St. Ben's offense will take over. But a beautiful interception by yeah. Benson, and that could that's a, a big-time game changer here. Let's see what but, the – Yeah, it's they, time for the Notre Dame the defense number eight, to score Michael up. Johnson in at running back. And it looks like Reed Bellingham is in at the right side rushing position. Berger on in motion. Let's see what happens. A little bit of a oh, oh, and nice. looks like he was yeah. sacked. Looks like he was sacked. Great pass rush. So Reed coming Reed. in uh, and doing the Reed's job. Reed's one of the power lifters at Notre Dame. He is. He is a strong man. Known for his freakish strength. For Christ to, and with weights. <laughs> exactly, exactly. He's able to break the St. Ben's line on that, that one. And, of course, there's no real blocking in, uh, in yeah. flag football. You just sort of get in the way the best you can. Here we go again. He's got a lot of protection. Like there. Ooh. A little bit of a, a stumble and fall here. Looks like no injuries. We're okay. So, so man takes it for about 10 yards. And so it looks like the Ravens are employing a new strategy. They've got a tight huddle with giving them a little protection against the rush, and they're they're doing some sort of option running and not a necessary, uh, not necessarily spreading things out, looking for a wideout. We'll see if this is a, a successful strategy. It was working so well already. Although most of the, the big plays were scramble broken plays, so maybe they're looking to, to get a better. Third down rhythm. right here for St. Ben's. Comes the snap. Oh, back to Bacini. Nice pass, but and it's going to be fourth short and short. Of the first down. And are we third or fourth down? Fourth. So this is a big play. This is no doubt the play of the game yeah. right here. They need one yard. Fourth and one. It's pretty much automatic for the Ravens. I can't imagine. Uh, that Domain can't scramble and get a yard here. Say, but let's see I if would, the defense uh, can step up or not. We might see a scramble here by Domain. Yeah, I, I would expect a, a, a QB keeper. Here. Or maybe a quick slant. We'll see. Right. I'm sure he'll roll out. We'll see what happens. Here comes the snap. He drops the pass. Oh, Green. Oh, uh, Domain finds Pacini. Beautiful. And yeah. just enough, right? Just, just in enough the for the first yeah, down. That Notre Dame rush isn't making it easy for him. No. That was not easy. They did well there to get those two yards. Yeah. You can beat that rush, though, if you just get rid of the ball quickly. Exactly. There are a lot of quarterbacks in the NFL who could learn that. Yes, yes. <laughs> the New Orleans Saints uh, quarterbacks in particular I'm thinking of, but uh, <laughs> others as well. Hey, Ivan, who, uh, who's number 15? Hey, Ivan. 
number 15 is Joe Pacini from the Archdiocese of Mobile. Did he buy those shorts that way, or was it a laundry accident? Here comes a snap. Oh, a beautiful uh, scream. Number seven, Eddie Bergeron. Beautiful scream, but only yeah. got about five yards on it. Eddie's one of those quick slot guys. Right. Along with Thomas Benson, they're both very athletic. Got him in a little space, but just not enough. Yeah, their money, their money maker is just is is, is downfield. Just yeah. yep. 20 course, yards or more, they're killing us. But at this point, they're 10 yards away from the end zone, so not a lot of field to work with on the scramble. Yeah. Once again, the closer you get to the end zone, that field just sort of bunches up. A, a, a slight correction. We're about on the 12-yard line, I would say. But Reed, uh, Bellingham, and who's that? Uh, I can't see the other rusher. Is that Chavez? Ben Chavez. Ben Chavez. Are the close rushers. Looks like they moved John Duke out of safety. And Deacon Kevin Colker looks like he's on the left side corner. Yeah, do guys back at safety, so Zaplatil. So here comes the center snap. Reed quickly at him. He scrambles right oh, through the left. Foley. He's should not. Foley. Uh, wow. Oh, the ref is saying out of bounds. Out of bounds. Beautiful pass, taking advantage of the height, but looks like a yeah. penalty. Uh, once again, I just have to point out for the, the kids at home who may want to play quarterback one, one day, don't ever do that. No? You never throw late against the middle. Oh, right. You never. Across your body? Yeah, you never throw. It's just a difficult throw, and it gives the defenders time. Even Tough if you have a very make. tall wide receiver who can go up and get it? Even if you have a very tall wide receiver who can go enough. up and get it. Fair enough. I do want to point it out to you that it, it, it did work. It did work, <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. In the words of Aristotle, <laughs> all, <laughs> always are, are for the most part. Chris oh, Collins. Chris Collins. Oh. oh. Short. Chris Collins catches it, but will be short. So and it'll be a fourth two. down and about Collins. one on the goal line. He two tacklers really well there to get a, get a couple extra yards. He almost snuck in. What's really troubling about is that this Ravens drive is Fourth taking a little longer the than Ravens. the other ones. It's a soul-crushing kind it's, of drive. It's, it it's, really it's going to zap a lot of the energy of yes. the Notre Dame team. A little bit. A quick timeout. We've had a timeout call. That's probably going to benefit the Notre Dame team. They need it. I would think so. The older, wiser team could use a breather. Yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful evening here in uh, – St. Benedict, Louisiana, probably what high fifties. Yeah, just a, a few beautiful day for football. Skies. Yeah. Blowing in. Sun not high in the air, but you know on its way down. Like it's up. That's what it does. David Hume doesn't believe that. <laughs> EJ's coming out. It's yeah. He's more of a locker room guy than uh, than an every down kind of player. Yeah, yeah. He's got a lot of energy. He does, he does. Not necessarily physical, but mental. Right. Energy comes in many forms. All right, we're back and ready to take the snap after that brief timeout water break. They got him spread out super wide. Of course, one of their best players, Pacini, was almost left wide open. Yeah. And, and Pacini for the touchdown. Lord. Yeah. And that was an oversight on the defense. They had uh, Colker last minute saw Pacini on that corner, and he was scrambling the whole time. They, yeah. they were just – Pacini uh, went in motion that. to the quarterback and then went back outside. Pacini is just murder. I wish, yeah. we, wish we had the stat sheet, but yeah. that, he's <laughs> – so now we're at 20 to 6. 20 to 6. With the extra point. Yeah. Big yeah. shout out to Archdiocese of Mobile. I know our uh, bishop's watching. Archbishop Brody, hope you're doing well. Greetings, Archbishop, yeah. from uh, a couple of Baton Rouge seminarians as well. Yeah. Mobile. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of going to Mobile very soon to go to Cookout. That's a restaurant one of the Tennessee seminarians told me about. Uh, yeah. The closest one to New Orleans is. Fine fast food chain. I do love fine right. fast food. If any, well, the camera's not on me, but when, you, when it turns to me, you'll see. I like my fast food, my, my fine fast food. I love food. this discussion. We'll get back to it after this play. Here comes the oh, extra point. Domain outside another, another to number 34, Grayson Foley. Grayson Foley. 
Take advantage of that size and the out route, just hard to defend. So we're now at 21, 21 to 6. 21 to 6. 21 to 6, Ravens. Okay, Notre Dame's got a 15 point hole. I, I know they can score. I know they can do it. The question is can they score enough Every times time. to compete with and the Ravens? This is a big, big offensive series for the, for the, the Hunchbacks here. Getting a hole uh, down 15 and not scoring to get the ball back. It's uh, not what they want to have happen. And now they may just be in a situation where the clock is not going to happen. Even if they can score. Is this a train restaurant? It's a chain restaurant. And they serve of delicious burgers, corn dogs, hot dogs, and quesadillas. So it's like a sweet tea. Great, great milkshakes great as milkshakes. well. There's over 50 milkshakes, I think. It's quite a few flavors. Nice. So it's a Dairy Queen slash Sonic. It's but, closer, but to, upgraded a closer to Dairy Queen, but with a real, I think with a southern feel. Very nice. I think there's also might be barbecue chicken, too. Wow. I will have to check that out. Here comes a snap. Hunchbacks with the ball on their own. Chris team. Fagan takes it. Fagan calls a shot and oh. Oh. Fagan overthrows it. And 14 on the Ravens. Is that Benson again? Yes, sir. That is Thomas Benson, right. our safety. Um, yeah. Fagan didn't think uh, there was any danger at all for interception, but with his athleticism, he almost uh, yeah. dove and caught yeah. that thing. I think it's just. I think Fagan may just need to just stay in the pocket. He does well on the rollout, he's, but he's but got but, a rusher but on him right from the start. His so accuracy is starting to fall off yeah. when he leaves the pocket. Here comes the snap, second down. He, there he stayed in the pocket. Oh, oh just a low pass falls incomplete. He let him just a little too yeah. much. That would have been a first down or a nice slant route by Edwin Morellis. Once down. again, that Ravens crowd jumps in. Pressure is building on the, the Notre Dame backs. crowd, kind of quiet. The rest of the team up on their feet. And we now have an appearance from Deacon Kevin C, who looks to be playing uh, the running back in the slot. Oh, no, no, he's down to a blocking position now. Here comes the snap. Rolls to his left and throws to Albert Blunt. Albert with a little speed, but not quite not enough to get speed. to the first down marker. Goes out of bounds. About five. Maybe six. So we got about five or six. We got about four down, four yards to go here on this big fourth down. Cannot afford to give up the ball here. Looks like Already the Ravens are calling a timeout. A timeout here. Yeah. Huge, huge hype. fourth Austin, down. Austin, get them hype. Yeah, I don't know if it might actually not be beneficial for Notre Dame to, to punt this Because you, you don't want to turn the ball back over to the Ravens this close. You want to at least give your defense a chance. With the Ravens, how they've been playing offense, does it matter if they have 80 yards or 15? Let's go! I just don't know how you stop. That, that 13 to 18 connection. Yeah. It's just killing. Or is it 15? Or is it 15? 15, 15, 15. Perhaps they can go to some sort of zone defense. Yeah, that z domain Pacini. Yeah. That's a killing them. Yeah, we'll see what uh, adjustments they make at half. Right, Maybe Coach Austin Thomas could do some sort of bracketing coverage. He's got some things, uh, he's got some schemes. Yeah. Or nice. maybe he can just put two people on Pacini yeah. and just if somebody else is going to catch. There you go. Make him beat you with somebody else. Yeah. Now he's taking off his shiny glasses, which means things are getting intense. Yeah. Comes a snap fourth down. Huge play. In the pocket. Throw. Oh, and that's oh, another Pacini. Pacini. Guess who? Number Pacini. 15. Pacini. Pacini. Both sides of the ball making plays. Impact player. Indeed. <laughs> Clubhouse leader for player of the game. Yeah. Archbishop Rohde. Would be proud. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pull out my first cliche of the day. <laughs> Impact players make big plays in big games. Now, I do want to point out that it's just silly for you to think that that was your first cliche of the day. Ah, uh, well, I know. Ma maybe live? Is that, is that what you <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, okay. Yeah. Once you get into your 40s, like the two of us, cliches just start coming out left and right. You yeah. can't help it. St. Ben's is going to have good field position here. We'll see if they can capitalize. Yes. Coach Thomas talking to his team. 
Looks like he's asking him what went wrong. Coach Mike Pedersen talking to the offense for St. Ben's. His, his job's probably a little easier right yes. now. Now, if they don't score here, if the Ravens don't score here, that hole that we keep talking about, that 15-point hole, won't quite hurt as much. They can get the ball back. So here comes the snap from about the 21-yard line of the Notre Dame Hunchbacks. Domains giving some signals. Doesn't look like they really know the play. Plenty of time, plenty of time. All day for Domain. There's a flag on the play, and Domain scrambles. Yeah, there's a flag on the – I would suspect that's on the defense, but we'll see. Offense, Offense jabbing. Offense. Yeah. There it is. Looked like somebody so was like, holding Reed, – Reed had a bead on him, right, and it right. looked like somehow he got held up. So, again, just a reminder on the rules for blocking. You, you really can't use your arms at all. You're basically just a torso trying to get into the way, and it looks like he just was tempted too much to use an arm. Yeah. And so he blocked Reed yeah. uh, Bellingham, and so five-yard penalty. Yeah, Deacon Reed, is, he's getting a, a nice pass rush. Yeah, he is. So all that conditioning and weight room work really paying off yeah. for him. Yeah. <laughs> so we got a brief pause in the action here after the penalty. So it'll be first down. All right. How do you know? Let's go. Catholic Patrick. Catholic Patrick, Patrick bro. YouTube.com slash Catholic Patrick. Yo, let's go. What's up? What's up? So still in a very comfortable position for the Ravens. First down. Eight or ten to go. Seeing a little surrender cobra out there from Albert. I don't know if that's a good thing or. Or is that just blocking yeah. the sun? Yeah, it could just be trying to get the sun out I of his eyes. I think so, yeah. yeah. Okay. We're, We're going to give him his. Coach Ryan Thibodeau was out there talking to his defense, giving him some, some thoughts and pointers. And we are back on the field. Offense is lining up. Snap about to happen. Looks like we're about to – looks like Albert's about to come on a blitz. Nice Domain blitz. Rolls out. There we go. And throw. that's a dangerous throw. Let's see what happens. There you go. Oh. Oh. Eddie Bergeron catches it off of Grayson Foley. That is a tough. For the St. Ben's touchdown. The is just the luck of that's this team. Tough, that's a tough play. It was essentially a Hail Mary style pass. Yeah. A good pass rush and uh, that good arm, but he said, uh, who, who was the tall guy for the Ravens who Grayson batted that Foley. originally? Grayson batted yeah, it originally. Grayson went to catch it, goes off of Grayson into Eddie Bergeron's but Ed, hands. Evan Morales had a, made a nice he play did. on the ball. It's just He just didn't have the height yeah. to, to compete with Mr. Grayson. So that's a big, big play there, 27-6. to six. Yeah, that one was uh, throw it up and let him go sure, get it. I'm <laughs> not sure this extra point really matters at this yeah, point. This hole's, this hole's getting pretty big. To, Notre Dame just needs to start scoring touchdowns. Yeah. Is, uh, St. Ben's goes for the one-point conversion. Perhaps a little momentum can, can shift here with a stop, but really just a point doesn't matter too much. Domain back to Pacini. <laughs> and there it is again. Little PB&J. That combination yeah. we keep seeing 13 to 15. <laughs> my, oh my. Yeah. Not looking too good I for Notre Dame. I don't like PB&Js. No. Because no. I'm not four. Right, right. <laughs> Cross cut off, yeah. white bread. Yeah. Right, right. Is that 28 to 6? 28 to 6. 28 to 6, yeah. St. It's Ben's. It. That is a whole. <laughs> it's time for him to get out of this hole. The uh, oh. of the day. To, to get out of a hole, the first thing you got to do is to stop that's digging. Half time. It's like it's half time. And now we're going to half time. Is it half time officially? I believe so. Can we get word? Maybe they. We so are. We are at halftime. Might get uh, Coach Mike Pedersen over here if he gets a chance. A little halftime interview. That'd be fantastic. Josh, you want to go do a little halftime interview with Ryan Thibodeau? I'd love to do that. Hey. Hey. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> you need to get Carter.
from New Orleans. This is where they sit. Uh, just our first year. So some, some minor guys get sent to here. And then our major guys get sent to uh, Point Beach, Florida. I said don't touch it. Coach Patterson here with a little interview. Uh, let, let them do that because that's that more We got, uh, is the camera on? 
We got Coach uh, Mike Pedersen here for the St. Ben's Ravens. How uh, how are you feeling about your team first half? You know, we came in there with the game plan. We wanted to put up some points fast, and a lot of them. And I'm really pleased with their efforts so far. We might have some technical difficulties. We're back. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, just that fourth down call, what led to calling that? I trusted my team, and uh, they trusted me. So even though we had to go for it a little bit here, especially backed up inside of our own 20, um, I trusted in Carter. And, I mean, his ability to extend there plays was the reason why we were able to get that big gain. Awesome, great. Yeah, Any one more thing. Anything for the second half that you told your team, anything to just look forward to? Or Yeah, I told them, leave no doubt. Um, we only play this game once a year, and we're going to keep the uh, pedal to the metal. And um, we'll get some guys in and stuff, but we're not going to slow down. We're going to keep trying to score fast, keep playing aggressive, and uh, send a message to Andy. All right, yes, sir. Thank you, Coach. Some words from Coach Mike Pedersen. Seems confident in his team. And St. Ben's will start the half here soon with a 28-6 lead over Notre Dame. Yeah, Co Coach Mike, that was, that was a confident-sounding coach. And yeah. he, he has a reason to be confident. It's a sharp, it's a sharp man. Yeah. In the words yeah, of Muhammad Ali, uh, it ain't bragging if it's true. That's right. <laughs> A sharp He's been man, taking a sharp care team. of business, uh, had our team practicing. Yeah, honestly, just getting everyone going. So, yeah, it's uh, definitely, like you said, definitely good to be confident. Yeah, more is. of the same. More of the same second half, obviously, yeah. for the Ravens. Now, do does Notre Dame get the ball to start the second half? I'm trying to remember who got that ball first. I think they may. Yeah. Because I'm, I yeah. believe it did, yeah. it did open up with the, seven, the quick touchdown. That's yeah. right. This but, is a golden opportunity. To, to, to yeah. at least get it back into a manageable game. Yeah. You, I mean, one more score, and it, the game's just yeah. going to yeah. get out of hand. If you go down by four scores, it's, it's over. So, real, real important first drive here, first possession. Just a little word after the game. We have tradition that's actually over 100 years old is the bonfire, hence the name bonfire game. Um, Awesome tradition, and we'll be burning that later tonight. And this year, actually, the bonfire is 30 feet tall. It's a – I heard a record. I'm not totally wow. sure how far that goes back. But, yeah, 30 feet tall. Uh, John Paul Phillips and Juan Hernandez helped build that. They were the wow. part of the stack yeah, crew. Last year, last year I came to the bonfire game, and it was a pretty big bonfire. So if, if it's 30 feet this year, that's, that's unimaginably big. Yeah, it's uh, it's Some gonna be a fun time even tonight. Dangerously big, perhaps. I think, uh, yeah, I think they got it taken care of. So it should be a no, should be a fun it. night after this game. Indeed, indeed. indeed. a warm night because it's a thirty foot bonfire. <laughs> exactly. No matter how cold it gets, that bonfire will keep things warm. Oh, yeah. The Ravens are. Same bands with the little yeah. hype song. The Ravens are doing some sort of war chant. Yeah. Something about Notre Dame going back to where they came from? I didn't quite catch it. After tonight, of course. We'll invite you all to the bonfire. Yeah, you know, of so. course, of course. Yeah. Notre Dame not doing a war chant. No, no, no war chant. Just a yeah. quiet confidence. Going to try to get back in this yeah. game on the field and not with a chant. Yeah. I like that, that low-level intensity. Yeah. yeah There's something exactly. brewing. The defense is out on the field, which is – no, 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 that's the offense. They're just on the other side of the ball. So still a couple more minutes before second half action begins. Looks like our ref, Father Dubrock, is blowing the whistle and calling the players to the field. Yeah, it's time to begin. As a beautiful bird of prey just flies yep. over the field. War Eagle for so our Auburn fans out there. Looks like we're back so we were mistaken – 
uh, oh, the Ravens Saint have Ben's the ball on, uh, to start offense. this half. So really a must stop here yeah. for the Notre Dame. That changes Hunchbacks. the complexion of the commentary because it definitely Notre Dame has right. got to get a stop right yeah. here. And it looks like we got a new safety on the Throwman far to Benson. side. Oh, oh and Benson throws it to Pacini. Oh and Pacini catches it. Oh, was Pacini that not a four? All the way. The first for a time. St. Ben's touchdown. A little chicory to it start was, the half. That lateral, that lateral was really close to that forward. That didn't look like a lateral. That, <laughs> but they don't think it was. That was not a lateral. That was a forward pass. To me, it looked like a lateral, it like a forward pass too. We might need to get a rules clarification. I think yeah. it was behind the line of scrimmage. Perhaps any, so any will be you can do a forward pass behind the line of scrimmage. A little bit different rules. Uh, That's a lot of bit of different football. rules. Yes, it is. So if the ball's caught behind the line of scrimmage, uh, Ethan, it's your understanding that it's I believe uh, so. I'm not right. totally sure. Okay. Don't I don't check. think the Notre Dame team knew about that rule. No. Because otherwise. Perhaps the, not. But, again, that. I think they thought that, yeah, Benson was about to run it, and then Benson takes it and. Yeah. Throws it to Pacini. Yeah, Pacini, of nice course. Who trickery. else? Yeah. Who else? Keep calling his name. But for once, it wasn't actually thrown from 13. Now, what's Pacini's background exactly? He uh, He's a high school athlete from McGill Tulin right, in Mobile. Right. And uh, other than that, I, he mainly played basketball, not really a big football guy. So and I, I guess Mc it translates well. McGill Tulin is a, is a Brothers of the Sacred Heart School. Uh -huh. I was a Catholic high grad back in 93 in Baton oh, Rouge. Awesome. Oh, oh, and they got the big man involved, Trey. and he dropped the ball. Trey Holmes Trey is Holmes. down himself yeah. for dropping that. A very effective little trick Almost play there. Almost gets it on the uh, one point, it but worked. Would have would have caught it. But, so yeah. that'll be what 34, 34 to six. It yeah, thirty four. Yeah, thirty four to six. Without the extra point, the first Saint missed Benz. extra point. Yeah. So we keep saying this, and the hole keeps getting bigger. Yeah. This is a big hole. I mean. Just absolutely no chance to win this game without a, yeah. without a quick uh, touchdown here, and even with a touchdown, uh, you know, it's still still a big hole. Yeah, this is like you tweet the wrong thing hole. Like That's you right. Just but you just play like the score is zero zero. You try to get your touchdown. And I, I'm I sure think we might be beyond playing like the score is zero zero. I think they think they're going to play like the score is thirty eight six. I appreciate you saying that. No, I'm but to kind of keep things positive for no, my crew No, you here, do. You have to. You have to. I, uh, no. I was in the <laughs> halftime huddle. Oh, Notre Dame makes a pass. A little play to Zappatel. Yeah, get it to – And Pacini on the two yeah. yards. I was it's in the halftime huddle there, and uh, with the I didn't Ravens. want to spoil it. Robert. But, yeah, Coach Mike said he might mix some things up, and so mm. you see it there on one of the first plays. I don't plays. think Coach Mike mixed up much. I think he was like, I'm going to keep serving this, <laughs> this, this Pacini. With the trick play, it's just a different way <laughs> to get it to Pacini. Yeah, a different way, yeah. Right. yeah. Fair enough. It's like, I'm going to serve this a different way, but you're still going to get some a big, big dose of number 15. Here comes second down, the snap, a little bit low, yeah, scrambles to the right, throws deep. To Zapotel. Oh, yes, just, just over let him a little bit too much. <laughs> I do like that Notre Dame is trying to get the ball to its athletes. Like you get, like Zach is just a well-rounded, natural athlete, yes. and you've got to try to get him the ball. We've still got some decent wide receivers here, but just got to get some consistency. Yeah. So third down and about, what would you say, eight to go, seven, eight yards. So just got to keep getting those first downs. Here comes third down snap. Quick throw Pass. in the middle of the field. Oh, and another interception. interception by Benson. By 14. That's Thomas that's Benson's Benson. second interception of the day. Did not run this one back all yeah. the way. Brought them up midfield. The rest blow it dead. Either way, St. Ben's ball. Yeah. Well, I, I believe Benson was an impact player. He was. They made the call early, and yeah. he was delivered. All the impact, but the three impact players uh, have been the impact players of the yeah. game. <laughs> kind of tired of seeing impact player. Yeah. <laughs> but when the impact players are making plays, what there else can is. I do? There it is. We'll see what uh, St. Ben's offense has up their right. sleeve on this drive. So I said he, he got back to midfield, but he's way beyond midfield. He is about at the 41-yard line, a uh, 45. Well, I guess it's the 35 of uh, uh, with this field. We're 80 yards, not 100. So here comes the St. Ben's again. first and ten. 
Trey Holmes with a snap. Nice Quick pass throw. So many. Dump. Check off. Now who's 33 so there? Zach. Number 33. New player getting in. Zach in the Sullivan. Action. Zach Sullivan. Our size okay. of Atlanta. That was a solid little five, yeah. ten-yard gain there. Yeah. Very now, effective. Now's the time you can experiment. You can, you can. Precisely. You mean when you have a 29-point lead? Yeah. You can, do all, you can do all kinds of things. <laughs> you, with really can. you play loose. Yeah. Confident. Yeah. No pressure there. Second down. But there's still a the lot Ravens. of fight in this Notre Dame team. They, oh, yeah. they have not given up. We're we playing for pride at this point. Is, yeah. that, is yeah. that the word we're looking for? No, I think we are. Speaking we all know what cliches, pride does. <laughs> Pride only hurts. Domain. Never helps. Chris Collins. Ooh. And Collins Barely catches it for a touchdown. Chris Fagan, but. Just now, what was that connection, uh, Ethan? That was Carter Domain and number two, Chris Collins. Chris Collins. Diocese of Biloxi. So, getting everybody into the action now. Yeah, Domain puts it on the money. He like, really does. Like, really yeah. a fantastic quarterback. Yeah. Great arm, great athlete. Domain was talking about at halftime how he's trying to get everyone involved. And so. And exactly it's what happening. he's doing. No. Once, you, once you've, in effect, won the game, you want to get everybody <laughs> to right. partici participate. There are other smaller goals yeah. that you're trying to, to check off at this point. But it's not all that over. Be, Notre 40, Dame still has a to six. Currently so at that touchdown, I believe it is, if my math is correct. All right. It was 34-6 before that touchdown. Now we got the two-point conversion. Scrambles to his Ooh, left. Up. Has too to much be a penalty. Time. Flag on the much play. Going down. Yeah. And the, and and the Notre Dame pass rush has experienced that all game. Trey Holmes might be There's called a flag. for uh, an illegal block. There. Yeah. Let's see what they happens. get close and then we saw a new player. For <laughs> Next Notre thing you know, player. somebody's grabbing on him. <laughs> you can't do that. No. Not in flag football. You can't do that in real football. That's a good story. So that'll be 40 to 6 after that? Yeah, there's a little comedy hijinks going yeah, yeah, on yeah. on we the sidelines here. Action that may be distracting the, the viewers at home. Yeah. But a lot of fun still. Oh, fun. It's, all, it's all fun. Now, how many so, more years does Domang have of eligibility here? At, uh, how many years? <laughs> uh, I think he has two more here. Yeah, this could so be the beginning of a streak here. He, he needs uh, to become a priest soon. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. One or Just two for more, for right, sure. Right. At so. least next year, yeah, as long as yes, he doesn't sir. discern <laughs> out. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't want to wish that for a young man. No, so no, no. That's why I went straight to ordination. Location. I'm like, right. one, year, one year of formation and then straight to ordination. Or maybe a... a Leave to go to another seminary. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, would, that would be fine, too. Let's advance him to the major seminary right, right. today. <laughs> right, right. Domain, Diocese of Lafayette, so I believe he will be going to oh, the Notre Dame. Right. Notre Dame after. Oh, wow. I believe it's the unknown fifth dimension of priesthood formation. It's a quarterback. Quarterback. Quarterback play. And so when you yeah. master that, it does count a little bit. For if the Domain other is coming to Notre Dame, we've got something to look forward to. Yes, yes. Notre Dame back right. on offense. That's, and that's that's the beauty of this rivalry. Some of the best players yeah. eventually come. You're in from essence scouting your team for right. next year. But here comes the pull. Ooh. Not sure what happened there. Well, I saw some flags okay. flying in the air. Another flag. And Notre Dame trying to mix it up, get get it to some of the Dallas athletes. Yeah, Mr. Which is EK coming in. A fantastic athlete, but not a lot of experience yeah. in the football field. That was a nice catch and run. Yeah, there. it was. It was. So the vibe's a little dead now that the game is clearly out of hand, 40 to six. Yeah. But Notre Dame's still playing on offense. Second down. Here comes the snap. A little high. Chris Fagan Stand. throws. Oh, nice, nice catch there. Edwin Morales, him. about 20 yards right in the center yeah. of the field. Yeah. Really well done. I'm sure there's some Caesar Sportsbooks fat folks <laughs> who put down a little cat. You got to tighten the score up. There's, <laughs> there's, there's some books going to lose exactly. a little money here. Exactly. The line did shift pretty hard late with that. Uh, the sharp money came in. Yeah. Uh, so I think uh, what we're seeing, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe some. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to besmirch anyone's character on the field here. There's no need for that. They're playing hard. Yeah. The defense making some plays for yes, St. Indeed. Ben's. That would have been a fantastic catch by yeah. John Dugout. There. Another pass defended. 
The Ravens uh, have been playing some really solid secondary defense. And it looks like the sun's going down be Finally. behind right, the right, trees, right. so it's going to get dark. Nine. It was an awkward so angle Chris there. Chris Lee made a play, but I guess there was a flag there on St. Ben's. So what down we got here, Ethan? Do you know? Chris Fagan takes a snap a little high. Another set Passing. of the field pass to EK. Oh, flag on the play. Maybe flag guarding there. Yeah, I think it might be. And that's something you typically see for a guy who has, doesn't have flag football experience. Your <laughs> instincts, you just want to guard that flag. But let's see what the call is, and that's what it, that's what it is. Second down for Notre Dame here. Second and about what, 10? 10. 10, 10 to go. They're on their own 30. Again, midfield's at the 40. High snap. Yep. Scrambles to his left. Looks like a long Deep ball. ball. Deep he wants ball. to do guys looking. Oh, great. Oh. oh. Caught Incomplete. And then out of his hands when he hit the ground. Yeah, he Number just nine, Chris Lee making a play the there. Ground. Another good defensive going play. To the ground. Thomas Benson at safety coming over as well to right. knock it free. Somewhere Des Bryant just shakes his head. Yep. <laughs> 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 I, love the way they're thinking. I appreciate that Let's effort. Go, that was I mean, a great go, hustle. Go. No one has ever accused John Dugas of not giving it for that. Hey, we're off now. We're off now. <laughs> great little first down. Right. 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 I think that was third down there. So. Hey, Xavier. So just a kind of a stick round. He went just in front of the chains so with a little first down marker turned. And the ball was right there. No, the Hunchbacks are moving the ball effectively now. John Dugas is going to move the ball to the field and fix his flags. Oh, no, he's got, a, he got an exchange of a new set of flags. He'll wrap that all up. So now they really know the skip in their game. Got a man in motion. Chris Fagan. keeper. Oh, he takes it. Fagan's going to take it all the way. That man in motion was out until really threw him off. About 30 yards, you'd say? Yeah, maybe. Big run, big run. Yeah. There's still some fight left in this hunt. Yeah, no. The Notre Dame crowd is just happy to see the ball moving again in the other direction. Look at this guy. New players out there for St. Ben's on defense. We got John Paul Phillips, Austin Smith, Xavier Polisetti. Got a couple other guys. I think that's about it. Excellent. Here comes the snap from the 10 yard line of the Ravens. Mm. Oh. Just tried an out route on the near side here, but. Yeah, that's off a difficult mark, route to throw. Off the mark. Or a difficult pass to make. Yeah. So that'll bring up second down again from the 10 or about the 11. Looks like Eric Baylot is in at center. Joseph Reservoir in the guard position. Scrambles to his right with a quick rush. Uh, and to Zaplatel, he caught it, but it out looks, of bounds. He was out of bounds. It, but it's out of bounds. That pass rush was on Chris Fagan Bounce. in a hurry on that play. But it was a great pass. Yeah, it was. And it was a great catch. You just, just have to do those inbounds. Inbounds, right. That's the kicker, the yeah, inbounds. There it is. So, brings up third down from the 11-yard line of the Ravens. John Duga out wide on the far side. Zapotel in motion. Getting reset. And here comes the snap. Zapotel in motion again, again behind him. Might be an option. And oh, Thomas Spencer with the interception. interception. Oh, he flips it to Andrew Thompson. EK Andrew is Thompson's running. running. Oh, Look at the hustle here. on EK. To oh, and Andrew Thompson gets his flag pulled. That was a, a lot of mobile hustle to stop mobile that from being a touchdown. There. So Mr. Benson has the hat trick of interceptions. Nah. Dare I say it. Now, who was that pitch to right after he caught it? Andrew Thompson. Andrew Thompson, who, who scrambled for what, about yeah. another 30 yards, 40 oh, yards? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. It, was, it was a good idea on the pitch, very effective. He's ready for prime time. And now it looks like the Ravens are going to do some piling on. 40 to 6, ball on about the 36 of the Notre Dame Hunchbacks. A pause and play for the change of possession. I 
That interception seemed to put a little bit more life back into the Ravens' sideline. The crowd was a little dead. They had the game yeah. in hand. Not being content with a 40-point <laughs> lead, they want more now. We'll see what happens. I think that's called greed. Well, it's possible. I'm not no accusations. It has the appearance of greed. Yeah. Right. Well, we don't know the inner workings of the hearts <laughs> of these young men. Yeah. I don't want to suggest I do. We've got Austin Dewey in at wide receiver. Dicey's a Baton Rouge. Yes. New player. Nice brother. Zach Sullivan catches it. Oh, that probably will be coming back here. Yeah, there was a hard collision there. Yeah. I'm not sure who's that flag on the is. play. You can't just hit people like that. I'm going to say that's on Fletcher for Notre Dame for just using his body to block him, but we'll see what happens. Oh, it's on the offense. It's like, it's like the basketball mm -hmm. rules with the charge versus the block. Sometimes it's just hard to tell who did what. Yeah. That looked like Very a charge true. to me. There you go, and, the, and the, that, the, the referees agreed by the Dubrock. Second down. Walks it back five For the yards. Ravens. So we'll replay that one. We got some subs in on the hunchback side as well. Will Whitlow, Kyle Fletcher. A, a comfortable scramble, and now he's off. Domain yeah. scrambling. That's, and that's the scramble that's been yeah. killing Notre Dame all day. He put a little rope dope uh, on that one, oh. just sort of sidestep for a couple, and then really took off. Yeah. And I think enough to get the first down. Yeah, the I mean, Ravens you get him. Get you think you got him, there. and then you don't got him. Seen that play plenty of times in practice. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting a flag change. Uh, is Ethan? Is there is there a reason why you aren't out there today? Yeah, I have a knee injury right now. I'm dealing with trying to. Trying to get back for basketball, so okay. resting that right now. Are you going to be uh, heading, heading up to Mundelein? The, the I will tournament? be, yeah. We're taking a group of guys up to Mundelein Seminary to play basketball in January. Yeah. So. Tell, tell the folks at home what that's all about. It's a fantastic uh, thing that's been going on. Yeah, for Father years, Pat O'Malley uh, tournament. Oh, Sullivan. And just like that, we started our, our story, but we got a quick touch now. Oh, Zach Sullivan with the catch, but the refs say it's out of bounds. Jump ball, touchdown in the corner, but it looks like it's coming back. Um, so while yeah, they're no. working that out, tell us about the Monday Yeah, getting tournament. back to that, yeah, it's uh, a tournament in late January, uh, and they have, I think, 16 other seminaries from around the country that play in it. So, yeah, St. Ben's will be up there. And Monday uh, right outside of Chicago. It is, right. yeah. It's up in Illinois, so we're, we will be taking a flight up there and – Pretty soon we'll be fundraising for that as well. Right. So uh, it's a fantastic uh, event. Uh, yeah, I've never been to it myself. Looking forward to that. So yeah, we got a yeah. got a so great any, group of guys any, going up there. Yeah. So. Anyone on the, hearing us on the, the live right, stream? Second down for Ravens. Scrambles of the rush and the throw. Oh, a little bit over. The receiver fell. He hasn't made too many yeah. throws that I was that gonna, high. I was going to say that one looked off the bark, but then I realized that the receiver fell. That was our, our aforementioned. Who was that? Was that number 19? Is, my, is that my Baton Rouge uh, Dyson brother? That's Austin Dewey. Yeah. So he slipped, and that, that was why it looked like it was off the mark. Because Domang has been sharp all day long. That would be unusual for him to be that far off the mark. So, back to the play. We're at second or third here. What third down. Third down, and about 20 to go. So they're Notre Dame looks like they're trying to do a little speed rushing now. Yep. Oh, flag on the There's play. Flag That's thrown. coming back. He's still scrambling. I think it might be an illegal blow. Uh, yeah, you can't you can't do a chop block thrown. like that. We'll see what happens. See if they get to decline. That's intercepted. Good interception. And so there, there's a yeah. flag in the field. That I suspect, looked like a chop block. I suspect the Notre Dame will decline this and accept the interception. We'll see what happens. I think the ref may have set out of bounds. We'll see what okay. the call okay. is, though. Oh, it's a call on the defense. Wow. Oh, there you go. Five-yard penalty. What Jeremy unhappy with that. No, I, no. I'd be unhappy too. Yes. So what do you think it was? It was. Did he, did he say what it was, I Ethan? I think I might have heard holding. I'm not okay. totally sure. It's hard to hear from up here. So a lot of penalties will happen with that pass rush and the blockers. It's just hard to navigate the, the flag football rules. We'll on repeat. So it looks like we have third down here for the Ravens again. So. It's like Maness uh, ran a foul. Here comes the, the play. Domain takes the snap. Hand gets it to off. Daniel a Johnson for the run. Yeah. Notre Dame's coming about with a their speed pass six. rush, and the way you beat the speed pass rush is to just run the ball Damn. right at it. Yep. 
fourth down and Ravens stay on the field. Of course they are, yeah. Yeah, not much you can do right. down there. You can't kick field goals in this game, no, so can't <laughs> might as well close. go for the score. But a good opportunity for St. Ben's to, to get a little momentum, a little, little, little too late, uh, too little, but we'll see what happens. Benson uh, has, a, has some flag technical difficulties and they're playing them with a man short. Is that what's happening? And we got someone back in there. A little difficulty on the substitution. Yeah. Benson off the field. Xavier Polisetti at wide out. Scrambles. Get up. Wong. We got Hong yeah. in there. Domain to Polisetti wow. for the touchdown. Yeah. Now that one really stings for the Hunchbacks. Yeah. Notre Dame had to change out their pass rushers. We're getting everyone involved here. <laughs> they took out their speed rusher right. in Jeremy, and it showed. Yeah. Yeah, Huang had an angle, but uh, yeah, that angle closed Paul quickly. Yeah. Scores really 46 to 6. Ravens. And it looks like we bring in number four. 40 Simon times matter in this game. Yeah, they do. This is a classic blowout, is what we got. <laughs> Let's see what they got up their sleeve here. Another mobile guy, number four. But it's been such a Simon. great day, and and both teams have played well. Right. I mean, clearly one has played better. Better. But both teams have played well. Wouldn't you agree, Ethan? <laughs> uh, it's been a little lopsided, I'd have to say. But, okay. hey, I think both teams are giving the effort. One person's so. perspective. Yeah. We'll call it effort. <laughs> they both given good efforts. We can agree oh, to that, yeah. can't we? Yeah. Ref calls it dead. Let's see what happens on this two-point uh, conversion. He is going to bring it back a uh, penalty against the Ravens. So it's going to be more or less a two-point style conversion, yeah. but only for one point. It's one of those things. There's a lot of effort, but unfortunately, effort doesn't really show up on the scoreboard. So that's often it does hard not. To, a hard dagger. To gauge. Just yes. to <laughs> Grace builds on nature. It does. So if you don't have the nature, Carter you can't rolls rest. out. Oh, now he's just now they're Simon just showing Atkinson off. Simon Atkinson yeah. now they're for the just extra point. Off. And a Another mobile guy. Conversion. Yeah. That was a one pointer. 47 to 6, Ravens. Man, where does Mobile get all these athletes from? I don't know. I don't know, but they look fantastic. Yeah. Big sigh with the one point conversion. My goodness. Trey Holmes hamming it up for the for the for the cameras. For the there. cameras. In typical Trey Holmes fashion. And now I just think this Notre Dame team is just tired. Yeah, yeah, they're defeated mentally, physically, no. spiritually maybe. <laughs> and they they still believe in God. <laughs> As in they're angry with him, like Job, but right, still, right. <laughs> but they still believe the in him. Lord giveth and the Lord, Lord taketh away. away. Amen, amen. Well, it's like uh, it's all a friendly ball game, though. We're, we're the, doing good. It was friendly at 35. Right. <laughs> 40 is it gets unfriendly. <laughs> With Ignatian spirituality on my mind, you know, you don't want this um, psychological desolation to turn into spiritual. No, you know, that's. You know, that, I think that's it's important great. for Notre Dame to score to get in the double digits. I agree. And they and they look like with that play to Grant Cool. Yeah, it looks like they're at least on their way. To yeah, that's a first down. So the march begins, one first down at a time. Yeah. This is the game within the game here. You yeah. Know. Hey, it's, you, a, it's a you, win with a score. You don't. You never stop no. fighting in anything. Here comes the snap from about the 25. The pass. John oh, Dugas nice. up oh. and another. Chris Lee yeah. with another great play at another corner. Another fantastic effort by Duga in his hands. But That's unfortunate. Duga will go up and get it. The oh, yeah. problem is, is bringing it down. Yep. That's twice where the ground has been his enemy. In the words of John Mayer, gravity is trying to pull me down. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Second down. Zapatel in motion behind Fagan. Fagan with a little nice. pitch. And his own flags came off yep. on happens. their own power. That's John Griffith, uh, who I'm sure was not expecting to catch any passes today, and so that's an exciting event that happened yeah. there. So what are we now, second down? Duga, the consummate good sport. Uh, Duga, excuse me, uh, Griffith, the, the consummate good sport here. Yeah. Here comes the pass. Long pass down the field to Zapatel. Let's see what happens. Oh, and Zapatel cap. Great pass. And Caught at about it. the yeah. eight, nine yard line. Wow. 
Going for it all there. A lot of concentration on Zapato's yep. part to come back to the ball. Yes. That's a good – a lot of receivers don't do that. They just – they won't come back and fight for it. But Father Dubrock is Whoa. still – oh, that is just a killer. There was a timeout called right oh, before the snap, and that is boy. coming back. Yeah. Insult to injury. Yeah, that is – Even when you think a little light is shining through. Yeah, that is crack, rough. It gets closed up. That is tough. St. Ben's has a few new guys in on defense. Andrew Ramirez and Javier Escucha at number 10. Someone looks like he's got a shirt and tie. Yeah, it looks like he's yeah, going to go serve Andrew's after got this a little, match. little tie, a little red. Looks like he wasn't quite expecting to get on the field, <laughs> but uh, things change. And he's looks like St. Ben's is just dressing out people yeah. right, right out of mat, right. right out of the sacristy. <laughs> he's putting them on the field. Zapotel in at quarterback, right. and he's throwing Nice pass to Fagan. Chris Fagan. Oh. oh. And just as you were saying earlier, Fagan might have wanted to come back a little earlier Terrell on that. Terrell Guzman with the and play on defense. No, no, no. And if he you was guarded closely, by the aforementioned man with pants, shirt, and tie. Uh, yeah, if you notice closely, he's got the full getup. Yeah. Said it's a business attire this wow. afternoon. It's a business yeah. uh, affair for that's him a, today. A, uh, business he's trip. a businessman. He's a businessman. If you go and ask him, you're like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm about business. But I like to mix up, get Fagan in at wide receivers. Appletel doesn't have quite the arm as Fagan. Yeah. But, but at this point, let's get a score and see what happens. Mix it up. Fagan out wide again on the face. Nice to the pass right. from Zapatel. Oh, and broken up by number eight. eight. Great defense. Johnson making the play. I think it's those little safety. green shorts that were really the key to <laughs> yeah. that happening. Yeah, I think, you know, <laughs> next Otherwise time you buy shorts, <laughs> ask them for, for a man size. <laughs> Baby Gap is not where you want to get your shorts from. <laughs> That's a men's medium, not a youth medium. Okay. Good call. Good call. But it, regardless, a really effective, great hustle play and a, another pass defended. This 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 St. Ben's team on both sides of the ball is really really good. Even the backups uh, are superior. Uh, just just an impressive team up and down. They but they've been putting in the practice for weeks, and you're seeing it here on the field yes, now. Yeah. So. yeah. Starting to get a little nippy out here. A little cold. Well, sun came down and. Uh, yeah. South Louisiana gets cold. Occasionally. Not as cold as the as the hearts of the St. Ben's as they just push the dagger <laughs> no. just deeper in. No. And we have a break in play here. Do we have Alex a Fleming looks like he's out there. Yeah, I think we got a little time out here, but we got some new guys here on offense for St. Ben's, so trying to get everyone involved here. Right. We'll see what they got, what tricks Mike, Coach Mike Pedersen has up his sleeve. Yeah, I don't think Notre Dame has that luxury to just sub in no. multiples like that. We got, we That's fair. So a really long time out. I'm not sure what's going on. Father Dubrock is trying to get him to hustle up and get this game going. Yeah. Tapping his watch. At this point, I think everybody wants to go in for the for the post game meal, or that bonfire. Thirty foot, you say? Thirty foot. It's gonna be nice to Big get fire. out there. Now it's getting a little colder. Let's wait for the hand. See what down we got. First down for the Ravens. That was fourth down. If you missed that at home, change of possession. That was why we paused. Comes the snap. Scramble to his right. Domingue with Domain the throw. Domingue Lorette. Oh, Lorette Wide makes a nice couple nice there we moves. Go. Gets his flag pulled. Once again, you have that sort of awkward pass rush. Yeah. So that's another receiver getting in on the action who hadn't seen anything yet? I think he had had a score earlier. One, okay. But, yeah, he's been, he's been getting involved, Nathan Lorette. So, I lose track of how many how many <laughs> players caught touchdowns. A lot of, you know, a lot of involvement. I know who did catch events. a touchdown, the impact player. Yeah, Mr. Pacini. Mr. Pacini. They're going to probably name a sandwich after him in the St. Ben's refectory, yeah. the Pagini. Yeah. I'm hungry. What do you want for lunch? A Pagini. The Pagini special. Yeah. If they don't, they should. And 
Here comes the snap. We got most of the receivers on the right side. Trips. Long oh, pass. An interception middle. to John Duga. And it he looks. He is off to the races. Let's see what he can get past. Mm. Zapatel. And right at midfield. Yeah, that was, that was a good play. Great play. So still a little bit of life no, in the hunchback. No, Notre Dame will not go gently <laughs> into that, <laughs> that good, good night. night. Thank you, Dylan Thomas. They are raging, raging against the, against the, the coming of the night. <laughs> yes, live streamers, the benefits of a classical education. That's right. That's right. So Notre Dame with the ball at about the midfield line. Maybe the 39 of their own. Fagan back in quarterback and a deep pass. The great great oh, defense again Terrell. by Mr. Business. They clearly business knew what they were doing. For he Guzman. is all business. They were not surprised by that one bit. Yeah. With the work shoes and the shirt and tie, still being able to keep up with Grant uh, uh, Kauye, that, that's impressive. Yeah. It really is. Just being able to play football in, in basically a tie right. is pretty good. Fagan Maybe with the scramble, deeper. about 15 yards upfield. Yeah. Like that first down it looks like the Notre Dame offense is coming together. It's just too little too late. Too little too late. We're about the 25-yard line of the Ravens. Chris Fagan back at quarterback, as we said before. Clock is running, and it is yeah. what down we got. First down, that can't be right. Javi with the rush. Fagan eludes the rush, throws. The great, to great pass. And touch touchdown. There you go. Grant Callaway with a fantastic yes. after the yes. catch scramble. And the Notre Dame sideline erupts. I'm sure, that's, I'm sure that's an eruption, but it's certainly some sound. <laughs> yeah. I'm a nominalist. We're going to call it an erupt. Just for the time being. Yeah. They made more noise than they'd been making for the past 20 minutes. There you go. So that's 12 points total. And taking advantage of the obscure rule in flag football of going for three from the 20-yard line. Here comes the snap to Chris Fagan. He's scrambling to his right, and throwing th against his body. Duga oh. with the catch, and that's three points. Nice. There's a lot of just things you shouldn't do in football, right. but they're working, so hey, what Literally do I know? Now to 15 points. That's pride points right there. No. 15 pride points. So we're 46 to 15, I believe. Maybe 46. Yeah, 46 or 47. 47? I think they got yeah, They the did conversion. get that. It's 47 to 15. I believe so, but I might have to check So that. along those numbers, the gap is narrowed down to 32 points. Yeah. Still insurmountable yeah. at this point in the game. But it's, 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 it's okay, in the words of Mr. Miyagi, to lose to fear or to lose to your opponent. It's not okay to lose, lose to, to fear. fear. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. And, they, and this Notre Dame, two? What was that? that's three. three. There's wow. three. For those of you out there who did, who, who enjoyed one it. and two, there's a third one for you, you to still go and enjoy. I, yeah, I, I've seen that once, and um, it reminds me of the Star Wars prequels. Those are seen once and then discarded forever. Yeah. Big fan of the Karate Kid one and two. Oh, yeah. a couple of new guys in and on of offense. Mr. Wheeler Miller. Wilson. Long oh, he pass throws down it the to middle. Him. Oh, almost intercepted by Zach. That was about the first. Well, other than pass that interception, incomplete. Yeah, he was off. He was feeling a little pressure. I'm surprised we haven't seen a backup quarterback. Is there anybody who wants to get a little time, or is just there's no need? Uh, I think uh, I think we have that option. I think they're just trying it out, trying to get a couple more wide sure. receivers involved, well, and yeah. So we got second down from the ten. Notre Dame's got some really tired defenders out there on the yeah. on the back end. Got some subs in. Huang's in at the rushing yeah. position. A short. Chris Lee pass. with the catch. Yeah. Gave him some cushion. Got about eight or nine on that. Did he get a first down? I can't see the angle. Yeah. Without Pacini out there, though, it's a whole different offense. Yeah. It's it's. The timeout on the field. They can move the ball, but it's not it's not those 
gigantic chunk plays right. like when you got Pacini out there. Do you guys hungry for another interception? I'll tell you that. You can see it in his eyes. Yeah, do guy never says quit. No. It's good to see that that broken nose incident has not slowed him down <laughs> one ounce. Dare I say it, there's a lot of dog in him. In, in Duga. In Duga. Yeah. Yeah. I'll allow that. That's fine. If you had a couple of coffee, that'd be good. It really would, wouldn't it? Such a strange coach. So here we go. Ravens back on the field. Third down. Hong and Paul Oye being on the scramble pass to the right. He's going to get that first down easy. He's still running and, and he no kneels. Man, he takes a knee. a knee after the first. And that's what you call graciousness right there. Yeah. No need to pile and on. And that the game, team game appreciates folks. that. And the game ends. What's the score, Ethan? 47 to 15? 47 to 15? 47 to 15. I'm sure the feed on the screen well, will fellas, confirm. It's yeah. a pleasure to have y'all. It's uh, just, just a really good game from, from the perspective of St. Ben's. Yeah, it was a great evening. Yeah. So, thank y'all all at home for watching. Really appreciate y'all. Indeed. No. Fantastic talking to you and working with you, Ethan. Yeah. Uh, and, and just to recap, you know, more players, better athletes, better conditioned, practice more. They just look like a better team in every way. Well, the thing about football, at least in the 21st century, is if you're going into the game, you got to have a quarterback. Yeah. And, and Fagan's great. St. Ben's just uh, that. But, he, but, but Mr. Mr. Domain's just on another yeah. level. He really is. Just yeah, impressive. Domain and all the weapons they had today right. at wideout. Obviously, Pacini, Benson. Yeah. Three impact players. Benson yeah, was the, really a game guys. changer because once every time Notre Dame got a, a little bit of something going, he just came down with an interception, interception. and three just stopped it cold. Three yeah, three interceptions. Yeah. Yeah. You just can't come back from that. Yeah, but I love the I love the effort at the end to get that touchdown um, by the Notre Dame Hunchbacks, uh, and then and then just the fun three point conversion. You don't see that much, and they they pulled it off. That was beautiful. Yeah, and and uh, and, and nobody's got a reason to hang their head today. Absolutely. I not. mean, you come out and you compete. You show people that you're ready to be a sportsman. Nobody, nobody can hang their head. Indeed, indeed. As St. Ben's, Ben's hoists the trophy. trophy. Well, fellas, it was a pleasure. Yes. Mr. Ethan, hope to see you again sometime right. soon. And that's a wrap. We're Carter. Yeah, give it up for Carter one time. Come on. Carter! 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 Four more years! 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 But as we gather after this wonderful game, the one side, <laughs> we thank the Lord for only minor bobos that guys would have had, but that we had a good time together. A time of paternal charity, most of the time. But a time to be able to, to rejoice in what the Lord has called us to. He's called us to this vocation, called us to listen to him, called us to really persevere. That it's a good reminder that in times of success, it's easy to see the goal line. In times of difficulties, we just persevere more. And so as we come together, we thank the Lord that the two schools represented by our patrons, Our Lady and St. Joseph, what a wonderful connection that we have. Let us now turn to the Lord, thanking him in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, you provide for all of our needs. You rejoice when we rejoice in fraternal charity. 
And as we come together, may we continue to grow in our desire to do your will each day, grow in our fraternal love for one another, to support each other along the way. May the prayers we offer help us to truly see what you place before us, your love, your mercy. May we always walk with the light of faith. Make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.